Here's one more example. Suppose t of n is equal to the function 6n cube. We claim that t of n is not theta of n square here. And the reason for that is if we plot t of n as a function of n, we're going to get this red curve which grows very rapidly as a function of n. But if we take any, any curve of the form c times n square, we are going to find that no matter what value of that constant c you choose, whether you take 6 n square, 12 n square, 23 n square, 100 n square, 150 n square, 1 million n square, 1 billion n square, eventually you are going to find that the curve for 6 n cube is going to rise above any green curve that we choose to focus on. Right? So there will be some point, there will be some value of n, which we can call as n0, beyond which the red curve will rise above any green curve we may choose to focus on. So the red curve will eventually rise above all green curves of the form cn squared. So no matter what values of the constant c we take, we can never maintain this inequality 6n cube less than or equal to cn squared for large values of n. Because for large values of n, n cube is going to eventually outgrow n squared. And so 6n cube will eventually rise above cn squared. Doesn't matter what value of c you choose over here, as long as it's a constant. So clearly, when we choose c is equal to 5, and when we choose c is equal to 500, the point where the red curve overtakes these two green curves, that point is going to change. And as we increase the value of c over here, the intersection point between the red curve and the green curve is going to shift more and more to the right. But there will exist an intersection point beyond which the red curve will permanently rise above the green curve. What this means is that 6n cube can never be sandwiched between two constant multiples of n square. So going back to the definition of the theta notation, we want that t of n, which is 6n cube here, should be sandwiched between two constant multiples of f of n. f of n is n squared for our example. So this part of the inequality is easy. T of, uh, sorry, this part of the inequality is easy to satisfy. 6n cube will eventually be greater than or equal to c1 times n square for any value of c1 we may choose. But it's going to be impossible to find a value of c2 for which the second half of this inequality holds. We can never ever have a scenario where t of n is less than or equal to c2 times n square for a fixed value of c2 because 6n cube is eventually going to overtake every function of the form cn square. So because both those inequalities cannot be satisfied, only one of them can be satisfied. We say that t of n is not theta of n square. 6n cube is not theta of n square. 6n cube grows much faster than a function that is theta of n square. So all these functions, 6n square, 12 n square, 23 n square, they are all representing functions that are growing at the rate of n square. And our given function here, pn, p of n, is growing much faster than all of these functions. And so it's not theta of n squared. 